Today, we have an exciting project in store for you. In this video, we will be learning how to build a PCB etching machine like no other. Imagine being able to speed up the etching process while adding a touch of creativity to your work. Our project centers around an Arduino-based machine designed to shake your ferric chloride-filled container, ensuring a rapid and efficient chemical reaction during the etching process. But that's not all. We've taken it a step further. We've incorporated five distinct shaking patterns that you can select, all beautifully displayed on a segment display. This means you have the power to customize your etching experience like never before. It's like having a chemistry lab right in your workshop. So without further ado, let's dive into the details and learn how to construct this amazing project step by step. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm excited to show you how to build your very own DIY PCB etching machine. This PCB etching machine is helped to quickly enhanced agitation can potentially speed up the etching process by exposing the copper surface to fresh etchant more consistently. This could reduce the overall etching time. This etching machine is based on Arduino. Introducing a new dimension to your PCB fabrication process. However, the excitement doesn't stop there. We are elevating it future by introducing a collection of five exactly tested and experts approved patterns. I will explain what's the patterns in later. And these patterns are designed to seamlessly integrate into your PCB etching efforts, offering you a range of creative possibilities to explore. Let's explore a simple explanation of what PCB etching is. While many electronics hobbyists and professionals are familiar with PCB etching, beginners may benefit from a concise overview. The PCB etching process involves creating your own printed circuit board at home. The process begins with designing a schematic. Afterward, the design schematic is printed out and applied to the copper-clad board. This step is known as the toner transfer process, where heat is applied to transfer the printed schematic from the paper to the copper-clad board. Lastly, the process is referred to as etching, which marks the final stage. In this stage, chemicals like ferric chloride are hydrochloric acid added. However, ferric chloride is commonly used. The ferric chloride is poured into a plastic enclosure, and the copper-clad board is fully submerged in it. The etching process can take varying amounts of time, usually around 3 to 4 hours, depending on factors such as the thickness of the copper and the concentration of the solution. Once the etching process is completed, your homemade printed circuit board is ready. This is the standard procedure for creating a homemade printed circuit board using the toner transfer method. To optimize the time required for PCB etching, we have designed our own PCB etching machine. This PCB etching machine significantly reduces the time required for the etching process, transforming hours into minutes. Curious about how this feat is accomplished? Allow me to clarify. In the homemade PCB creation, particularly through the toner transfer method, many individuals adopt a straightforward approach. They pour ferric chloride into a plastic enclosure and fully immerse the copper-clad material in the solution. Afterward, they allow the chemical reaction to transpire over an extended period. To overcome this difficulty and expedite the process, a technique known as agitation mixing comes to the fore. This method effectively combats inactive zones within the etching solution where chemicals become depleted or where the solution fails to penetrate. This, in turn, fosters consistent interaction between the etchant and the PCB surface, resulting in a more uniform etching outcome. The physical indication of this approach involves agitating the container holding the solution, either through manual means or automated systems. Now, I would like to share another idea. There are simple methods available for creating your own PCB etching machine. However, this PCB etching machine involves components like Arduino, stepper motors, and other modules. This might pose budget constraints for certain viewers. For those individuals, I recommend searching on YouTube for instructions on creating a basic PCB etching machine, like PCB Shaker. There are countless videos available, so you can select any of them. 
Personally, I've chosen one that you might find useful. In this video, they present an extremely straightforward method for creating a PCB etching machine, similar to a PCB shaker. The video explains the process in a clear and concise manner, focusing on the simplest approach to constructing such a machine. The components used include a DC motor, a basic DC motor speed controller, and some common materials. Notably, this method doesn't involve any programming of microcontrollers. So, by following these steps, you can easily create your own simple PCB etching machine. This straightforward design is effective for PCB etching purposes. However, it's important to note the distinction between this DC motor-based PCB etching machine and my Arduino-based PCB etching machine. The Arduino-based machine features five outstanding patterns, each representing a different mode with optimized performance. These five patterns have been exactly tested by experts within the field of popular PCB manufacturing. Another important aspect to consider is the use of a stepper motor in the PCB etching process. Stepper motors introduce vibrations that significantly enhance the agitation and mixing, resulting in a much faster etching process. This stands as a key distinction between the basic version of the PCB etching machine and the more advanced Arduino-based version. Now that you've made your choice between building the simplest version or the more advanced Arduino-based professional version. Now, let me break down the details about the etching machine and their hardware. Let's begin by discussing the PCB etching machine cabinet. Some individuals have already located the appropriate cabinet for this PCB etching machine. Yes, I have repurposed my old ANET ET4 3D printer for this PCB etching machine. This 3D printer was in a completely non-functional state, beyond recovery. Consequently, I made the decision to repurpose it for the PCB etching machine. I proceeded by removing the Z-axis components, as well as the internal electronic components such as the motherboard and SMPS, from the 3D printer. In our etching machine setup, only the Y-axis is necessary. This Y-axis serves as the platform for the ferric chloride-filled plastic container used in the process. With these adjustments, our setup is complete. Additionally, I was fortunate to find that a stepper motor was already perfectly situated within the 3D printer, simplifying our task. So, this constitutes the PCB etching machine cabinet. Now, let's delve into the electronics aspect. At the outset of the video, I mentioned that this PCB etching machine is built upon the Arduino platform. For this purpose, I employed an Arduino Nano, however, you could also choose for the Arduino Uno. Additionally, I utilized the pre-installed stepper motor from the 3D printer, which can be swapped with a NEMA 17 stepper motor if desired. Moving on to the stepper motor driver, I choose the A4988 stepper driver. This driver is widely famous and employed for NEMA 17 stepper motors. It's crucial to note that when using the A4988 stepper driver, it's essential to attach a heatsink due to heat considerations. As for the display component, I incorporated a TM1637 4-digit 7-segment display. This display serves the purpose of illustrating the patterns, making it effortless to identify the current pattern in operation. In terms of the overall project's power supply, I utilized a 12-volt, 2-amp adapter. This power supply choice aligns seamlessly with the requirements of our entire PCB etching machine setup. This includes the entirety of the electronics hardware within our PCB etching machine. After installing all hardware onto the PCB, it will look like this. I also integrated a buzzer into the PCB, specifically for indicating various stages of the etching process. Each pattern is associated with a notable sound, enabling easy understanding of the process status. With this controller circuit now attached within the 3D printer, I installed both the controller and the power supply within the printer's inside. Moving on, let's explore the controls situated on the front panel. On this panel, I arranged the power LED, the main power on-off switch, the pattern changing switch, and the seven-segment display. This contains the visual appearance of our entire PCB etching machine. Now, let's enterprise into the testing phase. 
During powering the PCB etching machine, you'll hear an initial sound, signifying the machine's readiness to start. In this demonstration, I've added the etching solution to the plastic container. Still unfortunately, ferric chloride isn't available, prompting me to substitute it with hydrochloric acid. After filling the plastic container with hydrochloric acid, it can be simply located onto the 3D printer's build platform. Upon pressing the pattern changing switch, the etching process is set in motion. Simultaneously, the display showcases the presently active pattern, beginning with pattern 1. With continuously presses of the same switch, I'm able to navigate through the patterns one by one. The buzzer generates a sound for each pattern, with the sound's frequency aligning with the speed of the process. Importantly, it should be noted that the buzzer function is optional. Certainly, let's explore into the functionality of each pattern. Starting with the first pattern, it's primarily designed for etching small-sized PCBs in larger quantities, arranging faster outcomes. Moving on to the second pattern, it is particularly well-suited for PCBs with ground pores, as it displays rapid reactivity in this context. The third pattern finds its typical application in powdered chemical variants, leading to accelerated outcomes that are dependent on the specific PCB qualities. Next, the fourth pattern stands as a customizable choice, adaptable to a range of PCBs. The results achieved are dependent on the chemicals employed and the copper-clad material used. Finally, the fifth pattern is an ideal fit for double-sided PCBs and featuring surface mount device SMD components. This pattern results in extraordinarily prompt results. In summary, these five notable patterns offer adapted functionality to address various PCB etching needs. Absolutely, it's crucial to keep in mind that the selection of patterns should be guided by your specific needs in practical applications. The outcomes you achieve will be modifying by multiple factors, including the chemicals you utilize, the ambient room temperature, and the specific type of copper-clad material in use. It's supportive to note that these five patterns have undergone exacting testing and validation by experts in the field of PCB manufacturing. This verifies their impact and reliability for producing successful etching results. Always consider these variables to ensure optimal performance and results in your PCB etching attempts. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below or contact me in WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number is provided in the video description. Please note that I can only respond to messages, not calls. I am ready to reply anytime. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting projects like this. Stay tuned for our next video, and until then, happy building!